All right, this tool is a little different, but it comes in real handy. This is what's known as a center finder. It has a number of different uses, but in this case, what I'm going to use it for is to find the center of the existing takedown screw hole, which will center up all this stuff, and then I'll double check that against the receiver sidewalls. But basically, what this does is as I if I've got it down in a hole, once it's in there, it'll offset a little bit, depending on where, and then which way I need to go. So if I need to come back this way with the center of my spindle, then it pulls this that way. And once this is lined up on all the sides, front, back, side to side, basically the X and the Y axis, then I know I'm centered on whatever hole this tapered section happens to be inserted into. And that centers me up so I can drill a straight hole. And then when I drill that hole, I'll use that for my reference hole for this takedown. So basically what this is going to do, it goes, gets chucked up in the spindle. And it's going to go down in here. I don't know if I can get this light down here so you can see. Let me give it a shot. This will go down into this hole here. And depending upon which way I need to move in order to get my spindle centered over the exact center of the existing takedown escutcheon that was in the stock, then that's what moves this around until I get everything all centered up and all the sides match up real true. Okay? So basically we'll get that going here. Let's put this into a half inch it lock it in you now Volkortchen uses that conical sleeve on their receivers now and basically what it is it's just a taper fitting inside a taper that has a straight bore on the uh, barrel so you have a taper going in a taper, just like this has a taper on the OD, like this, and a straight bore in the center. So you pull that taper up into a taper that's cut in the receiver, and it has to center. It's got no choice. It's got to be centered on that taper. So you got a centered taper. You got taper centering into a taper with a straight bore for the barrel that's basically centered with the circumference of the taper. And that's how that works. In any case, we'll rack this over. I really like these lights. They work exceedingly well for this kind of work. <coughs> Not so sure about camera work, but they work for this. So we'll rack this around till we're close. Now, I've only got two hands, so this, this could get interesting. I'm going to run this down. You can see where I'm, I hope you can see. I'm not exactly where I need to be, so I need to come this way. And I know I need to rack this in. So, this will go down in that hole in a second. Now I've got the DRO turned on so I can zero everything out where this hole is. Anyway, you can see it. See how it goes down in that hole. Whoops. You can see how it's offset to that one side. So I'll leave that down in that hole. And I know it's offset this way, so I need to go that way with my carriage. So we'll scoot it over until it is about where it needs to be. And then I also can tell that the x-axis is off. So I need to rack it in that way. Anyway, I, that's a continual process till I get everything lined up and then it'll be centered. So I'm going to shut this off so I can do that because I'm out of hands.